Here's my little campsite, a Red Streak campground, uh, just outside of Kootenai National Park. And I got here yesterday, probably about uh, one o'clock. Of course, it took longer than I thought it would. I think I left uh, Kendall and Preston's about 9.30. Um, I got here and didn't quite know what to do. Didn't know if there were there weren't real there aren't really any hiking trails or biking trails that I know of, and I'm used to having somebody else figure all that out for me. So I mucked around a bit, got all set up at camp, went for on a hike over the down the hiking trail to the Radium Hot Springs. Didn't think I was on the right trail. Turns out I was. So I came back. Oh, and when I got to the campground, I had to circle about three or four times to find my campsite. It's amazing I found my way to Canada. So then I did a little walk down there and came back, um, messed around a little bit, and decided to just go down, drive down to the hot springs. Had a nice soak at Radium Hot Springs. Came home, and there was a massive thunder and lightning storm well, not so much lightning, just thunder, rain, and wind. So that made it interesting last night. So this morning I got up and, well, no, yesterday I met across the way a lady who was also traveling solo in a huge uh, fifth wheel and a pickup truck. And she told me about some biking trails down in the next town 15 miles away at uh, Inver, Invermore, Invermere, not Inverness, Invermere. So I went down there today and had a fantastic ride. Um, after a nice hard, hard gym workout this morning right outside here on my carpet. Did a really good gym workout, felt a lot better once I got my endorphin rush. Um, found a little outdoor shop, actually a surf shop on the lake there, and the guy gave me directions to this amazing bike path along the river. It's brand new pavement, so it's really good for road biking, which I will go and do there tomorrow. So tomorrow I have another full day here, and I plan to get my road bike out for the first time. Have a good evening.